Hello, I'm Chris, and I'd like to welcome you to Faith Elements. If you are new to Faith Elements, click on this link, and it'll uh, tell you a little bit more about what Faith Elements is all about. If you just came in from the video titled My YYZ, then you clicked on the letters SDG at the end. If you didn't, you can uh, click on this link over here, and it'll take you to a video. And then at the end of that video, there's a link to bring you back here. Watch it and click on the link at the end, and uh, you know, you'll end up back here eventually. If you've already seen the video, let's talk about SDG at the end and what it means. A few years ago, I noticed the letters SDG on BicycleMan.com. My friend Peter, who runs the site and the related bike store, explains that the Baroque composer Johann Sebastian Bach appended the initials SDG to the musical manuscripts of each of his cantatas and many of his other works. But what is this SDG and what does it mean? The letters SDG represent the Latin phrase soli deo gloria which means to God alone be the glory. It is historically recorded that Bach understood clearly the call on his life to create amazing music. He lived, worked, and composed not for fame or fortune, but for something else altogether. Like other great composers of the Baroque period, he could have gloated at his own abilities, but he chose to direct credit for his abilities somewhere else. Much like a football player pointing to the heavens after scoring a touchdown, Bach was giving credit where credit is due to his creator, who put in him this amazing composing ability that we can still appreciate as masterful over 250 years after his death. Peter goes on to say that we too can experience the joy of furthering the purposes of Christ if we accept his secure and significant purpose for us as sufficient and surrender our lives to his glory and gain. What we do, how we live, and the talents we contain are not for us, they are for God. His glory, his purposes. The central mode of operation, could I and dare I say, should place God at the focal point of our existence. Doing so places all attention on the Creator, not the created, at His abilities, not ours. For of what lasting good is self-service when the self in this earthly form will one day exist no more? I realize that I've just scratched the surface of this topic, and if I've left you wanting a little bit more to explore, then good. I don't want to tell you how to think. All I want to do is help you explore. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe above. Thanks for watching. Remember, we can't all be great at everything, but for the things we are good at, sole deo gloria, to God alone be the glory.